Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We are your host, Ricky and Stefan. What up, though? Today's episode, we're going to be talking about the state of affairs for the movie and TV industry due to this uh, pandemic. the TV and movie industry. I mean, we can well, count everything. anime. Video, can, video can, games, everything. You can count anime in there as well because, man, oh man. I mean, it, it has affected everything. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on the notifications. And let us know what you guys thought about everything going on right now due to this pandemic. In the comments below, what are your thoughts? What are your feelings and opinions? Because this pandemic has definitely caused a lot to be delayed in a lot of pain. Pain. All yeah. I know is pain. Anyway, here we go. So, all right. As you guys know, we've been stuck in this pandemic since, for the United States since March, but for the rest of the world, it's been going on a lot earlier than that for mm -hmm. most parts of the world. But yeah, it's really now hitting hard for us with the movie franchises most movies have been either postponed till the end of this year and it's looking more and more like at least in the united states they will not be released at all this year yeah or so and uh. it's having a bad ripple effect on that we already know for tv shows the cw has already listed that none of their shows will air until 2021 if that, because, let's face it, production, I, unless they're going to do them in Canada, which a lot of already are filmed in Vancouver, but those that are Is that aren't, for like the CW, you said? Yeah, for a lot of CWs, a lot of them are filmed in Vancouver. Okay. But for those that aren't, most is either going to have to adapt and do production overseas somewhere else or find a way to film here or wait till this whole pandemic's over. I mean, most people probably have just seen uh, the virtual Comic Cons and gotten the news about uh, Quiet Place being delayed, well, the sequel, <gasps> being delayed almost a whole I year now. I was supposed to go see that on my 30th birthday weekend with my wife. That was literally penciled in as a plan. We're like, bam, so we're going to go to this place, this place, we're going to go to lunch, we're going to go see Quiet Place 2, and it marks up like, yeah, we're going to push it back to this date. Now they just like completely, I'm not going to say canceled it because the movie is already, the production, everything is done. It's just the release date keeps getting pushed back and pushed back. And um, I got some bad news. So I got a feeling that release date that they have now painful. is going to get pushed back too. Pain. It's not to release until 2021, but yeah, it's still up and grown. Pain. I mean, All I know I is think pain. I feel I already had plans for my birthday to go watch my stills whoop on those Baltimore Ravens. Out in Pittsburgh, enjoy my birthday, Thanksgiving, all of my, all in one, for that nice extended weekend. And now, if there is even a football season, definitely won't be going because we're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm not going to a football game, even if they did allow fans. So also to take that risk. The the anime um, circuit <laughs> has definitely been hit. Funimation, hard. please uh, pick up the pace. Do y'all need some help? I can help out. They, for the second week in a row, have yet to release episode three. Now, mind you, this is only episode three. We're on four now, though. Yeah, and then, but in the sub, they're in four for um, Fire Force. Everyone's been waiting for the season. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of uh, subs and dubs of uh, other animes popping Agreed. up. Now, now, sub is different because subtitles. I I no, I said subs and dubs of other animes that's yeah. been posted constantly. But I'm like, and, and the thing Fire is, Force, but I. Keep seeing tweets about it by them, about this and that. Even had a panel for the Comic Con about it. Yeah, they but did. Can we get the episode, please? I mean, listen, we already are two weeks behind in the dub. Now I can watch sub, but as we stated in the last video, Ricky it. over I'm here does not it. like sub the videos. Um, so we have to watch the dub. But with that being said, I don't feel like for our channel here it would be fair if I just watch skip ahead when this is something that he enjoys. Like there are shows that we both watch. That the other one doesn't, you know, and I really feel like he would, he he likes this series, so. Yes, I, I, I would like to see uh, 
does that Adola burst finally? Uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. So like, I, 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 to be fair to him, I'm going to wait with him until the dub version drops so we can watch it together. Now, some people say, well, you can watch the sub and the dub. I can, but then at that point, then I already know what's going to happen. And then, like, I end up saying something to him about it, and he's like, oh, so you watch it without me? He's going to get an Adola burst kick. <laughs> so it's just like, that's not fair. And I feel like the way, I, I don't know their schedule, and I understand that it's a lot harder working from home, especially doing something like um, uh, a dubbed animation, because, again, what you do is basically you're voice acting. You're looking at the character, or you're watching the episode while you're doing your acting. But at that same time, you don't have someone to coach you. Cause I know, like normally when they're doing it, and I've seen like little, um, little snippets of how it's done, especially for like Dragon Ball Z and stuff. You're watching the episode, you're doing your voices, and then like you have someone watching the episode and you at the same time, and they say, "Oh wait, pause right here for a second. At this particular moment, I need you to do X, Y, and Z to make it a little bit high, more pitched, and stuff like that." So like I can definitely understand where it's a little bit a lot more difficult, but I do feel like I'm not gonna say favoritism. There are shows that seem to me to get pushed ahead of, of Fire course. Force. That's always how. And it is. again, I, I'm, I'm an anime fan, but I don't know if these epi- or these shows that are getting pushed um, further to get dubbed faster are more popular than, than Fire Force. That could be the case, but without letting Fire Force actually develop into a really good anime itself, you know, which is really is really really good anime, you know. You, you're not letting the fan base um, mm-hmm. grow without that. Because again, there are some people in the world who don't watch sub animes. You only have There's your dub animes. Yeah. That don't. So it's just like, you're obviously you can't, like, oh, well, the sub is getting. No, it's the sub is getting that way because that's just how it's made. Yeah. I'm going to need them to, whoever's doing all this, start looking at Netflix. Contact Netflix. Find out how they're doing it because there's no way Netflix is having these movies. All over the country, all over the world, these foreign films being released in the United States with dubbed versions, and vice versa all over the world with uh, dubbed versions of from English to whatever other language, and they're doing it for almost everything that they release. I mean, I, but I, I understand I, they're a billion dollar company, but still. but yeah, it, it's just it's just it's tech to, like. I don't know like shows that I me and my wife watch for the fall. I doubt that it's going to be like. Um, like we love Blackish. Don't know yeah, if that's a lot part of those are being delayed. Most shows we, are going to be delayed either. We to love probably next year. I think if I'm not mistaken, this was. I don't know if you watched uh, This Is Us. I believe this was the last season of This Is Us. Uh, we're not going to get that it all. for sure. Most likely, um, Grownish. We're not going to get that. Um, so there's a lot of I mean, stuff that we're not going to get. The way this. it looks, nothing that was scheduled. If it wasn't already recorded already and practically almost polished or mm-hmm. could be polished. From home, it's not happening in 2020. Facts. And also, another show, me and my wife were talking about this the other day. Um, I had mentioned to you, Queen Sugar. Where is that at? I mean, normally it's in uh, it's down south. Well, that's... The, it's being recorded down south, but like, yo, like we haven't heard anything about it. Well, the own network is going bye-bye. Still, don't end the own... Don't yes, it's got to end. Just... No, no. So, ending it is one thing. Well, they're being shopped. I need a lot of the shows are being shopped around my, to other people. My wife, too, anyway. My wife was upset because then she also watches Have and Have Not. She hasn't heard anything about that. So it's just like our TV, like this pandemic, like they say, they said, oh, stay home and be safe and stuff like that, which I'm for. I'm 1000% for. You don't hear me complaining about being in the house because I'm a homebody anyway. But we need stuff to watch. But we do need stuff to watch. I and wholeheartedly agree with that. Hit hard, too, on the video going front. Cyberpunk has been delayed. Again. If I'm not mistaken. No, no, no. It's from one delay, from what I believe. I could I, I could swear it was two delays. It was delays. supposed to actually be coming out uh August. And now it's been pushed. But I thought, okay, so what was supposed actually, to be... Actually, no. Originally, it was supposed to come out earlier in the year. Yeah. Then they pushed it to August. Now it's not coming out until close to uh, next-gen console releases. Watch Dogs Legion was supposed to come out. On my birthday, or near my birthday, I believe. That's good. That yeah. got kicked all I the way down I do understand the for video games, as making my own, uh, video games do get delayed because uh, they anticipate it to be ready by a certain date, but then things change, either technology or something just wasn't right and they want to fix a bug or whatever before releasing. Also, 
when it comes to video games. Hashtag fix Madden franchise. Man, no, no. You can tell. We do Madden 21 just to lay that indefinitely. Fix you it. can tell that this pandemic has some type of effect on development as well. Because, I mean, Madden franchise for 21 is literally just a patch. But, right? I mean, it's that's happened year after year. Madden has always done this. Every few years they come out with something great. And they don't come out with something great for the next 10 years. And then they might even take away what came out that was great. And then say that it's new again. Hey, yo, do me a favor, uh, EA Sports developers. I know you're not going to come across this. Or I'm going to just ask. NFL, be. cancel y'all license contract they with just EA. Really, they just renewed the license. But I'm, that's my other way out of there. I do yeah. want to say something regarding that. Um, please, 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 please. Go back to Madden 05 uh, franchise mode with the Tony Bruno show, being able to fix up contracts and, mm -hmm. and there's people like there's they, they were they teammates. Were yeah, it was they were literally teammates. If you go into how they would feel to see how they would feel, if you wish to trade, for example, back in the day, Diamond Manette, if I was to trade Wessel, uh, um, Brian Westbrook from the Eagles to another team for a younger player. Donovan McNabb would be upset with me because of that, because Westbrook was one of a team captain and a team leader. He would be upset. Why in 2020, if you're supposed to be a simulation game, that's not in it. And but that's not here. The technology there. to make these games 10 times That's another video in itself. That's another video in itself. But, but they we have here. not done it. That's I mean, nice. we can get into it on Madden all day. Yes. Madden yes, yes. 21 looks like a disgrace. I will not be getting it as of right now because it's so horrible. The ratings are so horrible. Whoever did the ratings, and I believe Chad Johnson was a part of the ratings, needs to be fired. There is no way. Mika Fitzpatrick is in the 80s, but you have Michael Thomas as a 99 overall receiver but without DeAndre Hopkins as a 99 overall receiver. But Mika Fitzpatrick, one of the top safeties in the league last year, isn't even in the 90s. Get on that Cam name. Hayward's not in the 90s. I'm not going to get on I mean, that. he's at 90, but not deep in the 90s like he should be. I'm not going to get on that. But That's number two. This game. pandemic has done a lot to a lot of stuff. TV, shows, games, Just get ready everything. to be uh, tuned into us to find out what to watch when uh, it becomes slim picking soon. Especially with every movie being delayed. Tenant. Now, here's the bad part. I'm going to get on these studios because uh, <laughs> this has to be said now. The rumor now is going that Tenet it will be released internationally in August. At really? Towards the end of August, yes. And then, depending on things here in the U.S., released right after Labor Day or Labor Day weekend in the U.S. That's still rumored, but it's looking more than likely yes. I'm going to say this. Do not release any movie internationally unless we're going to be able to watch it in the U.S. It's You guys thought back, what, a few years ago? That piracy was very bad. Oh yeah, it's going to come back and be worse. bad because we're, if we're not watching it here in the U.S. and it's available overseas, it's going to leak and it's going to come here to the U.S. And when it does release in theaters no in the U.S., gonna go. you're not going to see it. It's going to be like American Gangster all over again. For those that did not know, American Gangster leaked crazily here in the U.S. Before it came out in theaters. It made some money in theaters, but it took a major hit. You know what other movie? And again, I feel bad for this person. Because uh, I'm not going to say it slowed down his career. But it definitely did something as far as his career when it came to movies. Because now he's, he definitely has a resurgence in his career when it comes to movies. But Soul Plane, bro. Everybody had Soul Plane three months before yeah. it came out in theaters. Like, when it came out in theaters, I was like, what? Is that theaters? I'm like... Oh, yeah. It wasn't out there as months ago, and come to find out that that movie leaked three months before it even came out in theaters, yeah. and it did so bad in theaters. I felt so bad for Kevin Hart, but as I stated, he made her, he's making a resurgence in, in the movie game. Um, with but his, I mean, with that stuff, happens but. with some movies sometimes, depending on if there's disputes amongst the actors or the directors and the studio. Like Ryan Reynolds made a leak up for a Deadpool. Teasers just to get them to make do the film properly and release the film mm -hmm. when it was looking like it was not going to happen, it was going to die out. He took it among himself, got it done, it became successful. Now, we don't know when that's going to happen, but thanks to everything being delayed, Marvel has pushed back almost everything. Bro. Disney as a whole has pushed back so much, mind you, Disney owns more than a half of the 
industry. Now, before we end this video, I just want to say this, okay? You, Disney, look, look at me, Disney. If you let the NBA players see these movies before they come out, because they in that bubble right now, I'm going to say that's wrong. Oh, I'm going to be so hurt. Being an essential worker myself, why don't we get to see them before they do? They're making the money where they can actually have a theater to themselves to watch these movies. Do not let them see we them don't. before us. We're no. the ones on the front line risking our lives. They get tested on a regular for this virus. We're not. Yeah, I think like once or twice a day. I think yeah, so. and I still don't see the fairness and all that. When we need this, we don't need the NBA right now. We need some justice for reality, for this world, for our kind. We do. We, we do, need but I, this I, pandemic I, to be over with. Do we don't need the bit. NBA. Especially need, somebody like Dwight Howard. Why do I got to wear a mask? I'm in the bubble. I need a little bit of NBA. Why do I got to stay in there in the bubble? Do That's you? Dwight Howard. Uh, he's dumb, but I, I, I listen. I'm not gonna lie, Rick. I enjoy watching that. I mean, I enjoy game. sports. I was like this watching Luca. Oh, listen, man, I enjoy sports you. as much as everybody else. I love it. I wish I could still be outside playing sports, but well, I'm not gonna take that risk. But overall, we by them showing sports right now, I think it's basically trying to say, uh, it's okay to be outside and look at the effects. Florida, Texas, I don't know, California. Man. And the rocks are starting to go back up. Just a little bit better. I mean, that bubble's going to get popped eventually. Just a little bit It's going to go back up and cancel. Just a little bit of basketball. <laughs> but before we go, I just have one idea for studios. AMC, you have an app where people can rent videos on demand. Why are we not using that app to release movies in the studios? Yes, I know. Christopher Nolan, you really want Tenet to be released in theaters? And yes, I do look, prefer the cinematic experience of watching movies in theaters. Agreed. But given this nature and the state of things, we're, we cannot keep pushing movies back months or years later. So look at it. Avatar. I'm going to be almost 40 years old before Avatar releases for the se second sequel. Yo, you're not even 30 yet. I mean, I get it. You get you turn 30, 30 this year. Do you, do you not see the second Avatar is not supposed to release, I believe, until 2022 or 23 now? Man, you're going to be 20. And there's supposed to be five of them? We're going to be 32 and 33, possibly. Jeez. Listen, we're going to be almost 40 years old before that franchise is finished releasing. Bro, all you're about to make me throw up. Shut up. <laughs> just That's just to. the nature of it. But, all right. Companies like AMC have an app where you can Man, do video on demand. That. Yeah. But they also have like the a AMC has like their A-listers. Fandango has something too where you can watch three movies a week. Re turn back on your A-listers uh, thing. Regal built your own portion to the app in your app where people can watch the movies. Let the studios release those movies to those platforms. Add them tickets. Find a way to uh, start showing movies on there. Let them release it on there on the 24 to 48 hour hold. For the person that rents it, you those that have subscription passes or whatever for your company or actual physical tickets, be able to redeem them for the movie. Everybody else charge them maybe three, four, five dollars more than the regular ticket price. I'm not going to say really twenty dollars per person. Well, twenty dollars per sitting. I mean, you might have to, you might not. It depends up to you. But be reasonable with the pricing. And release it. Also release some type of packages for it. All right. People could go pick up like a box of popcorn, a bucket of popcorn that they could pop at their own home from the theater. Some ready-to-made meal, whatever. So you can still have, get your concession sales in because I know that's the major part of the movie industry for theaters. That's mm -hmm. how they make most of their money off of concession, not ticket sales. But you can find alternatives. Agreed. To keep things going, not just drive in theaters, not boat in theaters, because not a, you're not going to fit as enough people in those either, and you still lack the experience in there. Why not allow everybody to watch it in the comfort of their own homes with proper air conditioning? They can have the volume up to how loud as they want, whatever size TV they have, they can set the lightings. If they, they don't have sound to, bars and all that good stuff, mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about other people talking during the movie. That's one thing I don't miss. That's one thing. I don't miss. We even have VR. Why not bring it into a virtual environment? Something. Agreed. We can't be waiting around. Because, hell, I will not be waiting around 10 years for X-Men to finally be added into the cinematic universe. I cannot be 40 when that happens. I'm still going to go. 40 and all. I will still watch it, but I cannot be 40 when that happens. Just imagine, my kids will be almost adults at that point. 
It's true. That's a long time to be waiting. I don't know. Till next time, everybody.